I welcome you to the second day of our 21 days of prayer and fasting of which theme we are saying no longer slaves. On the second day our focus is on our response uh, to God's call. The first day we talked about uh, Jesus Christ calling us friends. We are no longer slaves. We have a relationship with God. Now, during this day, the second day, what is my response to the invitation that God is extending to me? The invitation that God is extending to you and me, what is my response? As a people who are called by God, how am I responding to that relationship? Have I responded to that relationship? Have I wholeheartedly accepted that friendship God has extended to me? So today we are going to be reflecting on the nature of our relationship with our God. What are hindrances? that are uh, hindering me being close to God? What are obstacles that are hindering myself uh, to develop that relationship with my God? So on this day too, we take time to reflect over life, to reflect over our lives. And once we find obstacles, then one day we are going to have a prayer of surrender. We are going to surrender all the obstacles. We are going to surrender all the burdens that are a hindrance to our relationship with our God. What is my response to God? And what is kind of relationship I have with my brothers and sisters who live with me, who I work with? What is it that they see in me that shows this person has a relationship with God, the way we interact with one another. So we take the whole day to reflect on our relationship with God. Remember, we are no longer slaves. We have a knowledge, we have a revelatory knowledge, a kind of knowledge that has been revealed by Christ to us. So, as we take our time to reflect, to think over what Jesus has done for us, I call you no longer servants because I have revealed to you all things. He has revealed to us the way Jesus related with his apostles, the way he related with people, the way he taught, so that he gave us an example to use in our everyday life. So, it's our mandate to win souls for Christ, to be the evangelizers of our time. And on second day, we take serious time to reflect. If I responded positively to this nature of God that Jesus has called me to be a friend. You see, friends are close. They share secrets. They share all things in common. And that's what Christ Jesus is calling us to. We are no longer outside, but we are, as St. Peter will say, we are partakers of divine nature. That our relationship with God has transformed us so that we are in the kingdom of God. We are like living in the kingdom of God where on earth. That's why Jesus encourages us. You are the salt of the earth. How is that saltness? How is that enabling me to show to the world, to show to the others that there is hope in the world, especially during this pandemic? How is my relationship with God influences the world's view 
over the pandemic, God is still speaking something new in our lives. God is protecting us by his precious blood. God is still saying something. How am I responding to that invitation? How have I responded to that invitation? Let us take time to pray. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, our Father and God, we thank you for the second day in our 21 days of prayer and fasting. We pray that the Holy Spirit will guide us, that the Holy Spirit will convict us, will establish a relationship with our God, will enable us to foster peace and unity among our brothers and sisters all over the world. That will be the sword and light to the world. Oh, Holy Spirit, come upon us as you came upon the apostles. Encourage us, motivate us, inspire us. Blood of Jesus, cover us. Let not the pandemic cause harm and despair among us. We put our trust in you, Lord Jesus, in your precious blood. We cover our homes, everyone listening to these 21 days of prayer and fasting. We cover them. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. We cover them with the precious blood of Jesus. They are sons and daughters. They are properties. We cover what belongs to them in the blood of Jesus. Holy Spirit, bless on us as you protect us, as you heal us, those who are sick. May you heal them. May the word that you have spoken bear fruit. Because you have said in Isaiah 55 that your word shall not return to you void, but it shall bring hundredfold. We protect all the people listening to this message with the blood of Jesus. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you. And it is well. God loves us. We are special in the eyes of God.